All right, folks, this is day five and day three and day four were pretty strenuous. I almost passed out in every operation. Uh, there were like literally two sets of operations happening uh, on day three and day four. So I was pretty much try tired and um, I tried to vlog most of the things. But now is the time. This is going to get removed today. I'm gonna get uh, clean up done. Let's go into the breakfast room and meet the other folks. Good up, bro. <laughs> right, here is Marco, who's from Germany. Yes, hello. <laughs> and here's Paul, who's from Hawaii. And he knows the pain of traveling so far <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because he traveled more than 40 hours. Um, here we do our breakfast every day. We're here inside the clinic. May I know your names? Nazira. Nazira. Dama. Nazira and Dama, guys. They also have been super healthy since day one. So today they're gonna remove my bandage, uh, clean up, and uh, hopefully the results will be good in a few months. Really? Like, it looks good. Uh, did they extract from the sides for you until now? Like, uh, yeah, this part? Taken some, I, I don't that know. That part hurts a lot oh, during, like during the extraction. Oh, well, the hope is that they give me some delicious drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is hoping for more drugs. I, I passed out for most of the operation, man. But when, when they were extracting the sides for the last crown area, that's where it hurts a lot. Yeah, hey, here we have Adnan. Would be famous? Yeah, Adnan is from Saudi Arabia. Adnan, how was your operation until now? Uh, it was great, so far so good. Mm -hmm. uh, one more day left out of three days, so it's a, it was a marathon. <laughs> it uh, is a marathon. Okay, so let's talk about uh, day three and day four. And I'm gonna go through the procedure, consultation, doctors, patient coordinators, everything. So let's hear it from uh, the clinic where uh, the first consultation happened. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. This is Dr. Ahmed Jengis. Ahmed. I'm sorry, Dr. Jengis. Dr. Jengis, nice to meet you. Good. So the hair quality uh, on the donor area is good, mm -hmm. uh, is, which is normally the androgenic alopecia. Mm -hmm. I don't see any patchy hair loss, yeah. any skin problem, any skin disease. No. Yeah. As I'm here with Dr. Oscar, um, who has mentioned that I should mention his name for sure, <laughs> and uh, he, yeah, <laughs> and uh, he's currently examining my hair uh, to see if I have any issues with the skin or hair, and if the donor area looks good, right? 
see you guys when I shave my head. Since most of the hair that I had um, when I visited the doctor was pretty much long, so he said, let's trim it down a little bit. And that's what you see. Uh, the doctor is trying to, uh, on, the, on the trim down version, he can see that, you know, where exactly the follicles are required and where the transplant is required. And then based on that, he recommended three different lines, as you can see here, um, where one is the most natural which is in which is in the middle one is most conservative and the lowest one is where you know you would go for if you uh, if you want to have that i took the most conservative one because the overall uh, recommendation that i got um, while looking at the pictures from the emails the doctor said about 4300 to 4400 4000 will be from my uh, donor area and the other 300 would be from the beard. I was very strict with that rule that I don't want them to touch my beard. And after 45 minutes or one hour consultation, um, we decided on this 4000 grafts. This is the major plus point in other cheap clinics or what they call as hair mills. They don't uh, spend time with you at all. They probably take 10 minutes to draw a hairline, which is which you are not comfortable with, maybe, and then they just go for the procedure. Then we went into trimming the last centimeter down, and that's where uh, they would draw the exact lines. And as you can see, the whole trimming procedure has been done. As soon as the trimming is done, we went into the clinic again, and that's where the exact boundaries of the transplant is being drawn and then we decide on the number of grafts and that was my frontal design for now i'm good with this and i'm going to roll with this and let's see how this one goes next let's talk about the procedure it was divided into two days and each day you'll have two separate sessions in the morning and in the afternoon and each session will have an extraction and a transplantation extraction process and the transplantation process both take about one and a half to two hours depending on the complexity of your hair and uh, depending on the complexity of your head so for me it took around one and a half hours the extraction process is the toughest one transplantation is the easiest one i couldn't do anything i couldn't move all i had to do was just wait for uh, the procedure to get over people talk about how difficult it is when they put needles um, into your head. I would say these doctors were pretty much efficient. Transplantation is the easiest one and uh, you can basically browse through your phone, you can watch videos. As you can see, I was watching uh, Joe, Joe Rogan podcast. Now let's talk about patient coordinator. And this is a small video uh, dedicated to her. Hey folks, I don't want to miss out Miss Ebru, who has been super helpful. Uh, all the three days until now she has taken care of each and every patient she has been patient with every patient <laughs> uh, so yeah and she also re recommended a few steps you know how to take care of yourself at every point of time um, so she is a very good patient coordinator and I would recommend anytime <laughs> thank you so much I'm obliged to do you have some words for us Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, let's move on to doctors. Uh, there are about five to six doctors here at HLC. The consultation started with Dr. Osgar. Dr. Osgar leads the consultation, basic examination and understanding of the number of drafts, the hairline, the recommendations and everything. So the extraction and the transplantation for about um, 3000 grafts, Dr. Jengis took care of me. Specifically talking about the crown area, the thousand part which I said was done by Dr. Ali. And here is the final minute details of the grafts for the day one and day two session. And once that procedure is done, you go to your room and then um, there is a specific sleeping style. So here, as you can see, I have a neck pillow, which I'm gonna put on the regular pillows. And then on that, my mom's chunni uh, is being used as uh, the protection against the blood. Um, so I put that and then I sleep on that and then that should be good. So that's it guys. I don't know how it's gonna be. So if you're watching this, send your positive vibes. I'll do the best I can. And let's see how I look in the coming months. 
I'll post every month. If you see this face like this, <laughs> please don't hate me. This is some huge transformation going on for me. And uh, let's hope for the best. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.